The GPUs behind me right now actually cost the same amount of money, but they do not perform the same. So this is an RX 6700 XT reference design. Ah, I've got one of, um, one of them right here. So when you're buying a reference model GPU, you generally don't get a super amazing cooler. It will run the card at its reference specifications, and it will do it with probably more fan noise than you would get on a higher end design and you know probably higher temperatures while you're at it but if you buy a card from a um, board partner you could buy one of their higher end fancy cooler designs like i have on this rtx 3060 this is the rog strix rtx 3060 this is a massive three fan cooler that quite frankly is ridiculously overblown for the kind of heat output that this GPU actually has. It does have really nice pretty lights on it though, so there's that. <laughs> you know, you can't possibly game, game fast without RGB. So what I'm getting at here though isn't that RTX 3060s cost the same as an RX 6700 XT. What I'm getting at here is is it worth it to spend a lot of extra money on a fancier cooler? So let's hop in to some prices here. So the current price of the RTX 3060 Strix, and again, this is not the cheapest 3060, and that's the whole point, is $490. Now, this is one of the most expensive RTX 3060 models out there. If you wanted to go ahead and buy an RX 6700 XT, you could do it for basically the same price. Now this cooler on this uh, MSI Mech is not very good. It's gonna be along the lines of the reference cooler for the 6700 XT, which is also not very good. So I see arguments in my comment section and just build a PC forums and, and re Reddit threads and all of that where some people will spend a lot more money on a higher end cooler design. And my main problem with that is just that you run into these kinds of situations where the lower end GPU with a higher end cooler will sometimes cost as much or more when compared to a higher end GPU with a lower end cooler. And when that happens, my opinion is it would be absolutely stupid to buy the lower end GPU with the higher end cooler. Now, what a lot of people are thinking about with the, with the higher end cooler design is that they're going to be able to overclock it better. And that's probably true. You can probably get a better overclock and at lower temperatures on a higher end cooler with a better bend GPU. Although sometimes you just get un unlucky even with a higher end uh, you know, cooler design and, and it doesn't end up overclocking that well. But the thing is, it, I, I'm fairly certain that if I took my reference design 6700 XT and, you know, undervolted it and maybe even downclocked it, it's still going to outperform an RTX 3060 with a higher end cooler design. So that's kind of my point is you can get temperatures under control with undervolting, or, uh, you know, <laughs> I just don't think you're getting enough out of the high-end cooler for this to be worth it, unless you just really care a lot about how it looks, because that is a difference. The Strix card has some fancy lights, and it looks nice in your case, so there you go. Also, it does run extremely cool even when overclocked, which is nice. And you could also run it with really low fan speeds. You can keep your PC nice and quiet. So I think the people for whom this might make sense are people who are going to run their GPUs uh, really cool. They want it to be cool, they want it to be quiet, and or they want it to look really, really nice. And they're willing to sacrifice significant gaming performance in order to do that. Now, is it sometimes worthwhile to buy the more expensive cooler? Yes, I think so. But 
I think that's when there's not such a small gap between the next step up in graphics card where you could buy the next be a better graphics card for the same price um, just with the worse cooler design. That's the distinction that I'm looking at here. So for example, I think it could also make sense at the very, very high end. If you're already buying a Halo product type GPU, so an RTX 3090, 3090 Ti, RX 6900 XT or 6950 XT. If you're already buying one of those, then it might make sense to spend more to get just whatever awesome cooler design because you're past the point of diminishing returns anyway when it comes to price to performance. But when you're still in these mid-range GPUs, it's just so frustrating to me when I see people do this. When they buy that fancy, uh, you know, <laughs> the, the fancy cooler on the lower end card when they could have just bought a better GPU with the worse cooler. Now, let me throw out an example from my community page here. So, ah! um, so I track GPUs on my community page and, uh, you know, post good prices when I see them and all of that. And so today I've actually seen um, two different X XFX, I can speak, two different XFX 6800 XT models. And they were both priced a lot lower than we've been seeing 6800 XTs. The Merc, speeds, the Speedster Merc 319 is coming in here at $800. And they also have their Swift 319 for $769. So percentage wise, this is a much smaller difference on the overall price of the graphics card than it was when you're talking about RTX 3060s like this one. For example, let me pull up a uh, PC part picker list here and I've just sor sorted prices low to high on RTX 3060s. And you can get one with a bad cooler for about $420. And then we could spend, like I said, we could spend $490, so $70 more on this. Now, as a percentage of its price, that is a huge, huge price increase. And like I said, it drives it up into the next class of GPU uh, in terms of the price bracket. Whereas with a card like the ah, <laughs> RX 6800 XT, it's not driving you up into the next price, uh, the whole whole other like GPU bracket. Now it will drive you up maybe into the RTX 3080 price bracket or at least close to it. They sometimes are available for about 800, although often they're still closer to 850. And if you want to get into the 12 gigabyte models, they're pushed up higher. The point is that it's, it's that difference here, right? So $30 on an $800 price tag isn't that big of a deal and it might be worth considering. $70 off of a 420 baseline makes absolutely no sense when it pushes you up into the price of the next bracket. So guys, please don't waste your money on a fancy cooler when you could have just bought a better graphics card. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section and I hope that you have an excellent day.